<sighs> it's in the morning. I'm here with my coffee. One aspirin in me, actually two. Ready to do the daily challenge. Here we go. Three minutes. Aspirin's because for some reason during the middle of the night my body thought it would be a great idea to sleep in a weird position. And my back was fine with it at the time. It just knew that when I woke up, I would pay for it. So conscious me is paying for the crimes of subconscious me. I wish I had a bit more say in it when it happened. Because then I would have been like, you know, I'm sure you really thought flopping around into this position was a great idea, but <clears throat> let's be a little bit more considerate. I mean, conscious me doesn't drink coffee right before he tries to go to bed in consideration of subconscious me. I would just hope that uh, unconscious me would be as considerate. However, it's not. I've come to the realization that unconscious me, the one that sleeps, is a bit of an asshole. Loves to snore. Um, if you're trying to do certain things, like maybe try to sleep with a mouth guard in, to maybe try to help with said snoring, unconscious me is like, no, this is a, what the fuck is this thing? Get it out of my mouth. And then throws it off. And just to continue snoring. It, it, it's, it's a bit frustrating. I mean, I saw what the color of the flag was. I'm going to assume that it's Norway. Hopefully I'm right. I just have to try to find whatever road this is. I see it's in the 500, so maybe it's up here. But it's a constant struggle between conscious and unconscious me. And I would like the part that I have no control over to have a bit more consideration. It doesn't seem to want to, but, you know, I can't do anything about it. That's Jekyll and Hyde for me. Uh, I mean, I'm getting numbers that I'm not able to verify, and it concerns me that maybe, are we the Faroe Islands? Like, are there road numbers on these? They're A9 set. I got 30 seconds. So, poor I forget. I'm just going to click there. Okay, yeah, they don't go that high. I, I figured they wouldn't, because why would they? Are we like maybe here? No, they're, yeah, they're, they, they would be listed that way. Uh, what else could it be if it's not that? Could it be down here? No, because they use different numbering. I mean, I'm going to stick with Norway. Hopefully I'm right. Okay, I was. 57. Okay, yeah, the numbers are out here. I just had to pan my screen over to this area and zoom this far in to find it. I didn't do that. Thinking that the higher the number, the more north it was. Just because that's what my brain was convinced of. Oh well. Taking a sip. Moving on. Ah, this is a... This looks sandy and feels like it could be next to the ocean. Just because that looked like one of those sand dunes that you get to right before you go to a beach. But, nevertheless, weird tangent aside that I just needed to spill out of my head about the duality of me and sleeping and unsleeping. What a dumb way to put it. How's your day going? Weekend is coming up. Um, I've already made the baking video for the next week. I just have to edit it. Weather looks like it's going to be fantastic still for this weekend. Uh, nice and pleasant. If I had my druthers, I would say that low 70s, like anything below 75, should be the max temperature at which summer gets. There's no reason for it to be above that. 
It's nice. It's warm. It's not hot. You don't need AC. You have the windows open. Nice breeze. When it gets around to nighttime, it's cool, but it's not freezing. And I'm really surprised I have not seen anything else on this drive. Um, as far as the weekend goes, I have not much. Maybe I'll try to go to the driving range. That's, that's at least a hope of mine. Another hope of mine is trying to find out where the hell this is. I see that's a, not a weather, weather vane, maybe. See, the more this goes around, I'm seeing cows say double land road. I'm going to get home and try the other way. We're going to go this way. Maybe there's some uh, information this way. Like this could be maybe like Texas. It could be, hmm, I see this colored dots on the road. And it doesn't really remind me of anything. Like, I was going to say maybe Texas, but I don't know if they have this type of road demarcation on it. Could this be like Argentina or Texas? Uh, it, it, this is a big, open, pastoral, flat land. I got to make a guess somewhere. I'm going to say Texas just so I have a click of somewhere. But Jesus Christ, I have no idea. This could be the Midwest. This could be Southern Canada. I finally see a sign, and I'm going to run out of time. And this probably is, oh, blurred out. Why would it, why would it not be blurred out? Yeah, I found absolutely nothing. And anybody who got 5,000 points on this, I don't believe you. Not in any way. You're a liar and a cheat. Unless you live in a hole right in that spot. That's the only way I believe you. And this looks more like this region of uh, South America. I'm going to click like here just to have me somewhere. This very much looks like Mars. Why are we off the road? Oh, we're... I guess we decided this part was the uh, place to start up. We got our fancy... I'm going to guess this is a Toyota with a snorkel. So if you happen to go into water, your engine won't flood. But where they are right now, I don't think that's a concern. Um, sorry, I needed a drink. What else is happening? Not much. The uh, golf plans have started to be made. Driving range, like I said. Hopefully it can happen this weekend, and I hope that when I go to swing it, a setback doesn't get mad at me. I mean, we've had a pretty good relationship, my back and I. I think the last time I really pulled it to the point of absolute discomfort was uh, like the last day I was in Iceland. Since then, it's been fine, but why is this not getting any closer? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's a vehicle. Maybe it is. We're like behind some 18-wheelers. No, it's just the side of a bridge. I don't think I'm going to find any more um, information. That's 11-ton bridge, I'm guessing. <clears throat> I'm not going to find any more information. Like, I don't think this, this might be a sign. Can I get to it within the next 50 seconds? Probably. Am I going to be able to read it? No. Because it's probably in Spanish. Now it's blurred out. Oh, shit. Uh, that's Mongolia. Because of the backwards threes, I'm going to say. Um, mountainous. We'll click there. Let's see if I'm right. Make my guess. No, we were in central Mongolia. Silly me, right next to Dalangar Sharkogolin. I don't believe any of those people who give 5,000 on this. You're all liars. That's my stance today. Bunch of fibbers. You are Puente 
Mascheretti. Is this Brazil? Is this like the Philippines? Um, I don't know. I'm a bit concerned. I'm not going to find more information. Um, we're not going to see that sign because we're passing a truck. Karen Diet, that doesn't help me. Get me to a village or a town or anything. Let's see, can I get a road marker? This might be useful, unless we're going to blur this out too. Santa Cruz, Boyube, Camiri. None of these seem familiar. I mean, is this. I think. I'm going to say Brazil. But. I'm not convinced. I need better information. Not more information, just better information for me to actually be able to pinpoint this. Is that a cow? It is. All right. Santa Cruz. I feel more confident that it's down here. And then there's Santa Cruz de la Sierra. I don't think that's this. Uh, Santo. I think it's not Brazil because I think their saints are Sal. And this is not that. Huh. Are we like Colombia or something? I don't think we are. Are we down here? We could be. But this looks very, hmm. See, now I'm shifting myself towards like the Philippines or something. I don't think that's this though. Hello, vehicle. I need to look at you. Jennifer and Miguel. What? You got a weed whacker? Yeah, you do. Kids passed out in the back of that car. No, we want this way. I've got 10 seconds. Ugh, I'm going to get this wrong, but I'm going to click down here. I have no idea. Okay, it was Bolivia. Absolutely no idea. I'm doing terrible today on this daily challenge. There is no way I'm getting over 20,000. Mathematically impossible. This one just, just stumped me today. Very nondescript, random places. We've got a hospital for Modesto. Uh, hmm. Is this the Philippines? Jet chicken. That looks cool. Hmm. Let's see. Anything on here going to help me? Not seeing it. Hmm. What do we got? Billboard is behind me. No, it disappeared. We've got Alto da Boa, Boa Vista. That doesn't help me. Federal doesn't help me. I think this is somewhere in South America again. But. So, Brazil, I'm going to say. The little. Wavy line above the A. I know, I know what it is. I just can't think of it right now. Conditioned Everest. That doesn't help me. Give me a URL with a dot whatever at the end of it. Although I see some cowboy hats here. This all seems to be Brahma, cowboy-esque, which makes me think there's a lot of gauchos in Argentina. 
but is that June in Spanish and is it June in Portuguese? Hmm. I am Brazil. All right. So now I'm going to say we're down here. We're on a waterfront. The only reason I'm clicking down there is because, well, there says Brazil right there. Goyas is because the uh, cowboys and those I associate with this region of Argentina. We're next to water, so maybe we're like around there or something. Is there a, what was that? Goyas somewhere here, or is that just like a business name? It's not going to help me here, I don't think. Hmm. Well, let's see how close I am. I was more into the cent center of uh, Brazil here. View the summary. It wasn't well done at all. That was pretty bad. Anyway, apologies for the really short video this week. On your Friday. Um, it just happened that way. That's all I had the time for right now. But either way, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, suggestions for anything and everything, go ahead and leave them down below. I will read them and get back to you. Your weekend has started. You have my blessing. Feel the blessing. And now, go enjoy it. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.